uh, it's good to be here this morning and uh, appreciate the Lord and all he does for us along life's journey. Uh, my heart's beating out of my chest right now. I feel like it's up in my throat, but I figure that's where I drank two cups of coffee this morning. So I figure as soon as we get the preaching in, go back to where it's supposed to be today. But if you got your Bible, I want to ask you to turn with me to the book of Colossians, chapter number three this morning. And I, I don't plan on being before you too long, uh, but I, I wanna give you something that's uh, been on my heart. I studied on something earlier in the week and uh, then this come on our heart this morning and I, I wanna be a help. I don't wanna tear nobody down or beat nobody up, but I wanna help you today. Colossians chapter number three, and we'll read verse 1 through 5 today, and I'll try my best to give you what the Lord's given me. Colossians chapter number 3, and verse 1 through 5 today, it says this, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections, affection on things above, not on the things of this earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Father God, Lord, we thank you for your word. I thank you for each one being here today. I thank you for your goodness today. Lord, I pray, Lord, and ask, Lord, you know my heart. Lord, I didn't come this way to hurt nobody or anything like that, Lord, but I come this way to be a help to your people today and be a help to you. And Lord, I ask you to give the very message, Lord, that's needed. Give the very words that's needed that it might be a blessing and a help to somebody. And Lord, if they be one out there today that's lost and undone without you, Lord, help me somehow, some way to point towards you today. Please forgive me, Lord, where I failed you. Come short of the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray. And amen. I'm glad to be here tonight. <clears throat> you know, uh, everybody saw this Jeep that I drove to uh, church this morning, Eli. That's my sister's, and Eli wanted to drive it to the church this morning. But the reason I got that thing is uh, they've been making her work six days a week there uh, at the post office, uh, and they've even tried to make her work on uh, uh, on Sundays and and not uh, six days, seven days, and make her go other offices and stuff like that. And she just got tired of it. Uh, and so she she quit and got another job. And you know I, I begin to think about things like that. And uh, and, and and you know I, I believe in working today. I, I believe a man. The Bible teaches over in Thessalonians that uh, if a man don't work, that he don't shouldn't eat. That he don't eat today. I believe that with all my heart. And I will tell you what, Tuesday morning I'll get up because tomorrow will be my day off. Tuesday morning, I'll get up, and I'll go down to Morristown, and I'll do my fair share. Uh, but I'll tell you today, friend, I, I don't believe in giving myself to that today, friend. I, I tell you what, I, I, I'm i more than just a mailman today, friend. I, I tell you, I've got a home, and I've uh, got a church, and I've got uh, uh, things that I need to see about, and I need to, uh, uh, to know about, and I need to take care of today, so I can't dedicate myself to that today. And you know, I begin to think about that and, uh, and, 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 and in our Christian walk of life, there's uh, uh, things that, that we ought not do today, friend. These uh, places we ought not go today, friend. These uh, people that we ought not be around today, friend. You know, I begin to think about uh, reasons why uh, that I shouldn't be around some things and uh, and reason why that I shouldn't do things today. And I want you to take a look right there in that third verse. And, and like I said, I'll try my best not to be before you too long. But in that third verse, he said, uh, For you're dead, 
and your life is hid with Christ in God. I, I'll tell you today, friend, I, I, I can't go places and I can't uh, do things. Uh, why? Uh, because I'm hid in Christ today, friend. I'm, I'm hid today, friend. And I'll tell you today, I remember uh, uh, as a little boy today, friend, we'd go and uh, uh, Daddy didn't call it hide and go seek, but he said, you want to go play uh, hoopy hide today, friend? And I'll tell you what, we'd go outside and we'd uh, play hoopy hide and we'd uh, hide behind cars, we'd hide behind trees, we'd hide in cars, we'd hide in trees, we'd hide in bushes, we'd hide in weeds today friend and when I was hit I, I had man you had to come searching before you found me today friend and I'll tell you today I, I, me being a big kid it wasn't hard to find me but still yet I, I, I was hid today friend and I'll tell you today I, I, I can't go places why uh, because I'm hid today friend I, I can't do things today friend I, I, because I'm hid today friend I, I Amen to God, friend, and I'll tell you today, I, I'm glad that I'm here I, I, in Christ today, friend. I'm glad that I, amen, that I'm I here behind I, his blood today, friend. I'm glad today, friend, that I'm I, I'm here I, I behind his word today, friend. I'm glad that I'm here I, in him. Are you glad you're here this morning today? I, I'm telling you today, friend, I, I, do, I don't know uh, how people make it uh, in this walk of life without uh, uh, Jesus in their life today, friend. You know what? Uh, uh, back in March, uh, uh, we started a, uh, a diet today, friend, and I've lost uh, around about 40 pounds today, friend. But you know what? Uh, it man to God. Uh, it was aggravating at first today, friend. Uh, it was aggravating when we started that. Uh, but you know, where I'm uh, uh, right at about uh, uh, listen uh, uh, seven months into this and I'll tell you what I, I'm not aggravated about what uh, I'm not to eat anymore today friend I've got uh, uh, used to it and I've got uh, uh, to where I understand it today friend uh, and all like that today friend uh, uh, but in order uh, and I'm not uh, uh, to put that on today friend uh, I'm back on uh, I've had to hide myself from some things. I, I've had to uh, uh, not be around some things today, friend. I, and I'll tell you today, friend, I, I want to walk with the Lord today, friend. I, I want to go the ways of God today, friend. I, and in order to do that today, friend, you know what? I, I, when we was playing hoopy hide, I, and man to God, friend, I was hid I, as long as I was behind that tree today friend I, I was here uh, as long as I was hunkered down uh, uh, behind that car uh, uh, but as soon uh, as somebody saw me uh, and I started to run back to base uh, I wasn't here no more today friend uh, amen to God uh, and I'll tell you today uh, amen I don't want to come uh, uh, back out uh, uh, from behind this book today friend uh, I don't want to come uh, uh, back out from behind uh, of the blood today, friend. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, but I want to stay here uh, uh, right behind this thing today, friend. So uh, uh, not only uh, am I here today, friend, uh, uh, but also today, friend, uh, I look over there. You don't got to turn. I'll tell you the scripture. Uh, uh, but in 1 Corinthians chapter number 7 uh, and verse number 23, listen to this. Uh, amen. <laughs> ye are bought uh, with a price. Uh, uh, be not ye the servants of men today, friend. So not only uh, am I here today, friend, uh, amen, but I've been bought today. Uh, and you know what? Uh, whenever I'm bought today, friend, uh, uh, that means that I'm not my own anymore today, friend. Uh, amen to God. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, uh, when I'm bought, uh, I'm somebody else's today. Amen. When the church uh, uh, bought something today, friend, uh, that means that it becomes uh, a property of Valley View Missionary Baptist Church today, friend, uh, and it's ours today, friend. Uh, when Charles buys a car, uh, that means it's property uh, of Charles uh, Mooney 
Hill LLC and Incorporated today, friend. I'm telling you today, friend. And man, I'm hid, but I'm his as well today, friend. And man, the God, friend. And you know what? Roscoe, I paid $200 for that dog. Worst money I ever spent in my life. But I'm telling you today, friend, I've got that dog on the chain at the house. He can't roam around and do what he wants to. I told Aline she'd put a dog collar on him and take him bear hunting. But he'd still be mine or Eli's or Tiffany's today. But he's in my possession. He's under my ownership. And whenever I got saved today, friend, I got put under the ownership of the Lord Jesus Christ today. And when the Bible says, Thou shalt not murder, that don't mean take it if you will, take it if you want to. But he said no today, friend. Amen to God. And listen, man, when he said not to forsake the sinning of yourselves together, he didn't say, man, your choice, man, to God. But that's what he said, and that's what I'm to do. So I can't do things because I'm here. I can't do things because I'm his today, friend. Amen. You know what today, friend? These people today, friend, and they live in open marriages today, friend. Amen. That means they got their name written down on a piece of paper, and it's down at the courthouse, and it's down at the Capitol. Amen. But what that means is, is they see other men, and they see other women. I'm telling you today, friend, listen, I'm his today, friend. I'm his until the day I die today. Amen. Listen, on May the 21st of 2011, Gary Miller said, I pronounce you husband and wife today, friend. Amen to God. And I didn't find a woman in the crowd to go to severe with. Amen. Then to go to Smelser Holler in severe with. Amen to God. But the one that I held by the hand as we walked down the aisle Liberty Hill Church that's the one we are here 11 years later together with I'm hers and she's mine that night I got saved I knelt down on this side of the altar and I asked the Lord to come in my life and man to God and he came in and he saved me and he said I bought and now you're mine today, friend. And I said, I want to be yours. Amen. He said, you're. Amen. And I'm thankful today, friend. Listen, that I didn't just get a bunch of rules and regulations when I got saved. But you know what? I begin to walk with him. I begin to talk with him. I begin to grow in relationship with him today and I tell you today I hardly ever I think about thou shalt not thou shalt not thou shalt not why amen cause I don't want to amen cause I'm his and he led me away from sin he led me away from ungodliness he led me away from doing what I wanted to do but I'm his and now I want to do what he had had me to do. So listen, church, I'm hid. I'm his. Amen to God. But also, amen, over there in, 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 in 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter number 1, amen, in verse number 15 says, But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy 
speaking and all manner of conversation. Now listen, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And it's been on my mind all week. Amen. I can't because I'm here, I'm his, and he's holy today. He's holy, church. Amen. The God I know, there's some liberal and progressive churches that are preaching, live any way you want to, do anything you want to, come as you are, and all like that today, friend. Amen. The God that I'm telling you what, I'm here, I'm his, and he's holy. And listen, he said, as he's holy, I be ye also holy today, friend. Listen, I'm set apart. Listen, I'm not my own anymore. Amen to God. Just like on that diet, you know what? I hate nuts. I hate nuts. Cashews, pecans, peanuts, you name it. I don't like it today, friend. But on this diet, amen, I got to get my calories up. And one of the best ways to get your calories up, amen, is to eat nuts today, friend. And just about every day, amen, I'll eat about two ounces of pecans today, friend. And about two ounces of pecans is about 400 calories today, friend. Amen. I hate nuts. I can't stand them today. But I've ate them so long now, friend. Amen to God. It's just like the coffee of the morning. I'm used to it today, friend. Amen to God. But he's holy, friend. He's righteous, friend. Amen to God. Amen, church. He's holy. Amen. He ain't my homeboy that lives up the road today, friend. I'm telling you today, listen, he ain't the Jesus that I go and listen to Leonard Skinner with today, friend. He ain't the Jesus that I, amen, I can walk around and show my underwear with, amen, like these homies do now. I don't know what a belt is today, friend. He's holy today, friend. He's righteous today, friend. And listen, he put that within my heart today, friend. And now he teaches me to be holy as well today for him. Oh, friend, are we being tried? Are we try I'll never get there. But I'm telling you what, he said to strive to enter in at the straight gate. Amen. Try your very best. Amen. Well, preacher, I do all right in all these areas. I do all right. But when it comes to this, it's my weakness today, friend. And we've all got those today. We've all got those. But I'm glad today, friend, I've got something in me that when it comes to having these weaknesses, amen, he'll help me to stay away from it. Our church, he's holy. I'll tell you today, friend, listen, we've been studying on Wednesday night about over there in Aaron going into the temple, and, and he had to spend a whole week getting ready uh, to go into the temple, and they had to put the blood on his ear and on his thumb and on his big toe, uh, on his right side today, friend. Uh, he had to be consecrated. Uh, he had to be set apart today, friend. Uh, and you know what? Uh, my job as a pastor of this church, uh, he he said this. He says if a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work, he must then be blameless, a husband of one wife, a man vigilant, sober, apt to teach, and the list goes on. There are standards for me to live by. Amen to God. But listen, the word right here, it ain't just wrote for the preacher man today, friend, but it's road uh, for the lay member. Uh, it's road for the one uh, that comes in uh, and never says a word today. Uh, I tell you, uh, listen, uh, I'm his, uh, I'm his, and he's holy today, friend.
in our church. I'm hitting him. I'm glad I'm hitting him. I want to be hitting him. Ain't nowhere else I want to be today, friend. I'm telling you today, listen, I'm his. And it ain't like some uh, a Civil War slave to where if they did something wrong, they were whipped. If they was black, they were whipped today, friend. But I'm his and his mine. And I want to be his. And he wants me to be his. And he loves me. And he cares for me today. Amen to God. And I'm thankful for that today, friend. But as we go on, I'll try my best not be for you too long. But remember, I'm hid. I'm his. And I'm, he's holy. I'm, that's been, that's I've been in my mind all week. I'm hid. I'm his. And he's holy. I'm hid. I'm his. And I, he's holy. I'll tell you what. Get that deep down in your soul today. Get that deep down in your heart today. I'm here. I'm his. He's holy. I'm here. I'm his. He's holy. I'm here. I'm his. He's holy. Amen. I'll make a shirt. I'll get you a bracelet. I'll put it on the front lips of your heart. I'm here. I'm his. And he's holy today, friend. I want to be honoring to him. I want to be pleasing to him. I, I want to go his way today, friend. Over down Job uh, uh, 31 and verse number 1 says this. It says, I have made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? Amen. Job said, I, I made a covenant with my eyes. I said, eyes, you ain't going to do this. I said, I ain't going to do this. Amen to God. Our church, have we made a covenant with our eyes? I, I, listen, I, I ain't going to look. At pornography. I ain't going to be around. Amen. I ain't going to watch a killing and stealing and all like that today, friend. Oh, why? Because I'm here. I'm his. And he's holy today, friend. They tried to accuse Job of doing all kinds of stuff. But he said, I've made a covenant with my eyes today. Our church. Amen. Do we care enough about what God wants in our life I to say I'm not going to let my eyes look upon this or look upon that or read this or read that they used to sing a song and it says I was created in his image I was made after my body was made to serve the Lord today friend I'm here I'm here and he's holy I've made a covenant with my eyes that I ain't going to let I'm no evil. I come behind here. I've made a covenant with my ears. I ain't gonna let no ungodly noises come in here today. Why? Because I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. Oh, church. Amen. Well, listen. I'll tell you what. We can live a good Christian walk of life if we just live by that. I'm here, I'm his, and he's holy. I've made a covenant with my eyes today, friend. You know what? Amen. Women are the prettiest thing God put on this planet today, friend. But I'm telling you today, friend, I've made a covenant with my eyes. Why should I look upon a maid today, friend? You know what the Bible says over there in 2 Timothy 2 and 15? It says, study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed a rightly dividing the word of truth what I ought to put my mind on what I ought to put my eyes is is into this word to where I can know it to where as David said that word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God what was my eyes made for amen I to study and to put it upon God today, friend. My eyes were made for sin and for direction and for doing right today, friend. But also, I'm trying to hurry. I am today, friend. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to 
wear you out this morning. I want you to come back tonight. Amen to God. Or there in John chapter number 3 and verse number 19, the Bible says this, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest that they are wrought in God. Listen, I'm hid, I'm his, and I, he's holy. I'm not going to look. I've made a covenant with my eyes, but also hey man, I ain't going to go into the darkness today, friend. I'm not going to love darkness rather than light. Hey man, the Bible says he that loveth dark, listen. He said he don't come to the light because his deeds were evil. I'll tell you what, I, I hate sitting around in the dark. The dark was made for sleeping and there ain't no good thing comes out of the dark today, friend. Amen to God. Listen today, friend. Amen. But I'm telling you today, friend, I'm not going to go to the darkness. Why? Because I'm hid. I'm his and he's holy. Listen, what you read in that scripture, he's the light today, friend. Our church, in him is no darkness today, friend. In him is no ungodliness today. Let me say this. Take a time out right there. And man, you know what? I am saved. I've been saved. I've been preaching for going on 20 years right now. But I'll tell you today, listen, if you talk to me, you can tell I have fun in this walk of life today, friend. I'll tell you, I ain't never been bar hopping. I've only been with one woman in my life. Amen to God. Listen, I've been pulled over for speeding. Amen. But that's the only trouble I've ever been in in my life today friend. Amen. But I enjoy life. I enjoy the life that he's given me today, friend. Amen to God. And I don't want to turn to darkness. I don't want to turn away from the light. Why? Because God's been too good to me today, friend. God's been better to me than I deserve today, friend. God's been my all in all. He's been there, amen, in the black and dark night, amen, when I didn't know what to do, and ready to pull my hair out, and cry, and call for mama today, friend, he's been there with me today, in sickness, I could have died many a times, but he's been right there with me today, friend, I don't want to turn from dull, from light, back to the darkness uh, but I want to go on uh, in the light uh, why because I'm hid uh, I'm his uh, and he's holy today friend amen, amen. church I ain't meaning for this to, to, to beat you down amen I'm meaning for it to encourage you today are you his Amen. Are you his? Are you his? Amen. He's going to be holy whether I am or not today, friend. Amen. But so, listen, you know what people say when you can't drink? Or when you when you get saved, you can't dry drink anymore. I'll tell you what, I can drink all I want to. I just don't want to drink no more today, friend. Amen. I'm seeing all I want to. I just don't want to sin no more. Why? Because I'm here. I, I he is, and he's holy today, for him. Amen. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy, church. Amen. I'm here. I'm glad. Are you glad to be saved? Amen. Are you glad to be in him? I'll tell you what, even when I'm in the fire, I'd rather be his. Amen. I'd rather be in the fire with Jesus than on the outside of it without him today, friend. I'm glad I'm saved today, friend. I'm telling preacher, not everybody can live your standard of can. Amen to God. I hold myself to a high standard that I surely do. Amen. Do you know what else? Amen. Ain't nobody else harder on me than I am myself today, friend. I beat myself up every 
every day, time and time again. And all the while, the Lord's saying, I got grace for it. All the while, the Lord's saying, I bring your burden to me. Bring your care to me. Bring your trouble to me today, friend. Oh, kids, today, listen, you might think mom and daddy's hard on you today, friend, but they just want good for you today. They just want blessings for you today. They want you to live right. They want you to grow up and be good godly citizens today, friend. Amen. They want you to come back to them and say, Mama, I thank you for whooping me. I thank you for teaching me the right way. I tell you today, I got wore out today, friend. Do you know what? I ain't never spent a night in jail today, friend. Why? I caused a raisin she gave me. And also, I'm healed. I'm his. And he's holy today, friend. Amen. I'm healed. Are you healed? Are you here? But also, to go on down, I'll be down in a few minutes. I promise. Amen. I'm here. I'm his. He's holy. I'm here. I'm full. He's holy. I can't look upon a man. Amen. I can't go into the dark. But also, Philippians 2 and verse number 4 says this. Philippians 2, 4. It says, look not every man on his own things, but every man also the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus today. You know what Satan wants to do? He wants to get your mind. Amen to God, friend. He wants to get your mind. Listen, I tell you what, and I see it all the time. People think everybody in the world's against them. They think everybody in the country is against them. When in fact, ain't nobody against them. Ain't nobody thinks about them today, friend. I, I'll tell you today, church, listen, you might think I'm mad at you and all. I ain't out to get you this morning. I'm out to help you today. Hey Amen. Don't let that garbage into your mind today, friend. But I'll tell you today, if Satan can get your mind today, friend, he's got the rest of you walk today, friend. Hey Amen. If he can get your mind, he's got this the mouth, these eyes walk. If he can get your mind and your eyes, he's got your mouth walk today, friend. If he can get your mind and your eyes Eyes, uh, and your mouth, uh, he's got your ears woke today, friend. Uh, I would let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus today, friend. Uh, I'm telling you today, friend, uh, let this be in your mind. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. And let this be in your mind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Let this be in your mind. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil today, friend. I'm telling you today, I listen, I can't let Satan have my mind because I'm healed. I'm healed. Is, and he's holy. I'll tell you today, he said over there in Philippians 4, he said, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is holy, whatsoever is just, he said, I think on these things today, friend. Amen. We fill our mind with everything going and coming on Facebook. We fill our mind with everything going and coming in the news. We fill our mind with everything going and coming about he said she said they said their mama said their daddy said and all like that today but let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus why because I'm here I'm here and he's holy today friend what are you filling your mind with this morning what are we filling our mind with I'll tell you today ain't nothing listen he said all that's in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Today. That's all it's in the world today, friend. You ain't going to find no joy in the world. You ain't going to find no peace in the world. You'll find friends that say they're your friends, but I'll tell you what. Listen, 
when the money runs out, that ain't your friend. Let me say this. When your Christianity comes out, they ain't going to be your friend. No more today, friend. And I'll tell you today, friend, listen. I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. I'll tell you what, when cussing and ungodliness comes on the TV, I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. Amen. When bad stuff comes on the radio, I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. I tell you, I hope this gets in your mind today, friend. I hope it gets in there. Amen. And listen, I hope next week, sometime or another, you're all by yourself. And the next thing you know, I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy today, friend. I hope that gets in there. I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. Listen, I hope it gets in your mind. Devil, you can bring all kinds of thoughts against me, but I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. You can bring this ungodliness to me. But I'm here, I'm his, and he's God holy today. Our church today, friend, amen. Are you here? Are you his, and are you holy? In two more places, and I'll be done, I promise. Amen to God, but I'll tell you today, over there in 1 John chapter number 2 and verse number 15, it says this. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, that he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Today, friend, amen. Love the world today, friend. Amen. I can't, because I'm here. I'm his and he's holy. I can't go along with this world system today, friend. I can't. I'll tell you today, friend, this world system saying it's all right for two men to get married today, friend. This world system saying it's all right, amen, for a little mama to go down there and kill a precious little baby today, friend. This world system saying it's all right, amen, to go against your own country, amen, and every bit of blessing that you have, I give it to another country today. I'm telling you, I'm here. I'm his and he's holy today. The Bible teaches uh, that a man ought to take care of his own household today, friend. Uh, amen to God. The Bible teaches, uh, amen, uh, uh, listen, uh, that all that's in the world is sin. Uh, all that's in the world is ungodliness. Uh, all that's in the world uh, ain't pleasing to him today, friend. Uh, amen. I can't go off after it today, friend. I'm telling you today, uh, we're living in a day and time today. I'll tell you what, some of you older ones, I'll tell you today, friend, you know what? Back in your day, amen to God. Listen, uh, everybody in the country that have been outraged, uh, amen, at seeing a, a, a woman in a bikini on a television set today. They would have today, friend. Back in some of your days, uh, amen, if they didn't have a uh, clothes on to their elbow uh, and down to their ankle today, friend. Uh, it was the ungodliest thing you ever did see today, friend. Uh, uh, but now uh, uh, they've uh, uh, got so much of it today, friend, where we're uh, numb to it, we're blind to it, uh, and all like that. But I'm telling you today, I don't want to be numb to that. Uh, I still want to call a spade a spade, uh, an ungodliness, ungodliness, uh, amen, until my dying days today, friend, because I'm here. I'm his. And he's holy. Some of you, amen to God, friend. You know what? You remember these little old country stores and even down in Newport today, Fred. Amen. Wasn't nobody open on Sunday today, Fred. Wasn't nobody. Hey, my preacher, you don't remember. No, I don't remember, but I've heard of it today. Amen to God. Do you know what? Back then also, everybody came over to Mamaw's house after church for supper today, friend. Now listen today, friend. Everybody come over there and they loved one another today and they cared for one another I'll tell you what I remember hey man I know I told you it wasn't going to be for you too long I'm trying to hush I promise the memos told me I don't know how many times she'd say we used to gather the evening time because we didn't have no TV we'd gather out on the porch hey man and we'd get one of these little things right here hey man and we'd open her up hey man we'd begin to sing I heard an old old 
story. Amen. Then we sang, there is going to be a meeting in the air in that sweet, sweet by and by. I'm going to meet to meet you over there in that home beyond the sky. Such singing you will hear. Never heard but mortal here. Twill be glorious, I do declare. Amen. And we'd hear. Amen. In the sweet by and by. And then we've heard Miss Carol talk about. Amen. Over there at Cognitive Chapel. And up here before church would start. You'd hear the men on one side. And the women on the other. Oh, God. Would you bless her church. Oh, God. Would you move in a mighty way. Would you do a great thing today, friend? Amen. You know why? Because they knew I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. They didn't love the world today, friend. They didn't love the world. But you know what? Now, uh, our kids... Cartoons ain't even safe anymore. Hey Amen. I can turn on TV and they'll show on a cartoon a little boy being raised by two daddies today, friend. All they're trying to do is infiltrate your mind and your kid's mind. And it's all right. It's just an alternative lifestyle. But I'll tell you today, friend, they ain't kids. They ain't his. And to them, he's too holy today, friend. I'll tell you what they got. What's wrong? They don't have him in their heart today, friend. This world don't have him in their heart today, friend. Amen. In their heart. No my scripture, and I'll be done. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse number oh, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 17 says that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you being rooted and grounded in love today friend I'm telling you today Christ dwelling in their hearts by faith today friend that's what this world needs today friend Amen. They sing its song. What the world need now is love, sweet love. And they're talking about a, a, a different kind of love today, friend. But I'm telling you what the world needs. They need Jesus in their hearts. They need Jesus in their lives. They need to know. Amen. Listen, you know what? In this day and time, we try to bring Jesus down to being like me today, friend. Amen. Jesus ain't like me today, friend. I've got flaws. I've got uh, uh, hang-ups. I've got bad things. But I'll tell you today, friend, I'm to strive to be like him today, friend. You know what? And in this flesh, I'll never make it. In this flesh, I'll never get there today, friend. But listen, amen. Day by day, I'm going to try and I'm going to keep clawing and I'm going to keep scratching. Amen. And one day, amen, a trumpet's going to sound or I'm going to call my eyes in death and I'll wake up in his likeness today friend amen to God I'll tell you today listen have you got him in your heart today friend amen that's where all this starts at today friend amen it's in your heart today friend amen have you got him in your heart today friend oh church I I'll tell you I know you ain't shattered or nothing like that this morning amen to God but I'm telling you today is in your heart I'll tell you if he's in our hearts, he'll grow more precious to us. Uh, if he's in our heart, we can be like that song Grace had just sang. I, I'd rather have Jesus uh, uh, than worldwide pain. I, I'd rather uh, uh, listen, uh, be true to his holy name uh, and to be a king uh, of the vast domain. I, I'm telling you today, it's got to start in our heart today. Listen, when it starts in our heart, then we can say, I'm his. I'm his. He's holy. Can we say that today? Like I said, I ain't trying to beat you up this morning. By all means, I'm not. But I'll tell you today, Fred, that's how we're to live. I'm his. I'm his. And he's holy. 
but it's got to start in our heart. I'll tell her, it started in our heart. Maybe you're here today and you ain't where you need to be with God. How's your heart today, friend? Maybe you're here today and listen, you've been saved, but you're far, far away from Him. Amen. How is it in your heart today? Come get that heart right today. Come get that heart right. Amen. But I'll tell you what the rest of us, when sin comes at the door, sin comes knocking today, friend. Let's always look at it. Say, I'm his. I'm his. And he's whole today. If you will, get your little song right where you're at today. And don't come up here and like that. But I'll tell you what, if you need to pray today, this altar's open. But I'll tell you, I want to move up. I want to be closer to you today, friend. I'll tell you, uh, Charlie read part of that scripture today, and it said, uh, listen, lovers of themselves more than love. I'll tell you what, I don't want that in my heart today, friend, but I want to be closer to him. Amen. Why? Because I'm his. I'm his, and he's holy. I'm his. Church, if you've been saved, you're his. No we're stands or butts about it today, friend. You know, there's been many a times Charles has made a, 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 a deal with somebody. He said, you give me this, you can have his car. And you know what? Amen. Listen, he never got that and they never got the car. But I'll tell you what, the deal all along has been made today. And I'll tell you today, friend, listen, it's been made in my life. It's been made in your car. Amen. What are you going to do with it today? Amen. I'm here. I'm here. And he's holy. As we all stand as they sing this morning, if you need to pray, this altar, I want to get closer to you today. I want to be close to you. I don't want to be far away.